Hi, happy um, Thursday. I'm just going to have a quick... Oh, I saw another orb thing then. Um, I'm just going to have a quick chat about Jesus. Um, so I'm just going to crack on with it because I've been putting too much pressure on myself about this. I'm going to try and be respectful and hopefully I'll explain my own opinions um, as well as I can. And again, I don't need anyone to resonate. I'm literally unpacking my own thoughts for my own benefit because I think, you know, Christ is within um, so, I, actually, just before I start, I just got these sort of visions earlier of Trivial Pursuit, which is this um, game that I played a few times as a kid, but it's, uh, I think it's like a question sort of game, and there's different areas of life, um, and, or, or, or anything, you know, entertainment, blah, 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 different subcategories, and you have to get the answers right and you get like a little piece of cheese, a triangle shape to fit within your wheel. And when you finish the wheel, you know, you win the game. And I kind of was sort of seeing the similarities of, of that, of, of life really. And, you know, I've spoken about before how kind of it's like the soul fragments into pieces and you spend your life um, trying to refit the pieces back of your whole. Um, so I just I just wanted to mention that it was just quite um quite funny then, you know, yeah. Um so anyway, I've been sort of like observing Christians, a few by the way, here. Like I don't I, I listen to Christians that resonate. So there'll be something in their message or their deliverance or their whatever they're talking about that I have resonated with and so I've carried on listening to and again I really don't um I don't judge with um polarity or duality you know good or bad I just kind of observe things so I, I don't want to be disrespectful to anybody here and I'm not mentioning any names or anything like that but just so just for your own sort of reference just so you know um I've probably listened to three Christian people talking about their own awakening for just every year. And so I've quietly, you know, um, I'm saying quietly, I have tried to connect with these people before, but um, because they're so ingrained within this narrative, um, I think um, distrust and fear is rife so there's never been any sort of um, back and forth so you know they'll never find this I'm not slagging anyone off basically I'm just explaining my observations so um what I kind of feel like that is happening and it's gaining momentum and it's this sort of and by the way when I'm talking about this it's like I understand that most people who um, claim to follow Jesus or be a Christian are good people. I completely see that. I think just where I feel pulled to talk about it sometimes is because from how I perceive it, it's kind of like that's another um, trick, as in it's a, it's a, a trap to for you to give your power away um, and to be completely within a dualistic mindset of good and evil, um, God and the devil, uh, etc. So I thought I heard some beeping then. So anyway, um, it's really difficult, isn't it, trying to talk about this stuff without kind of offending anyone. So I watched something that I'm going to post down below. And it's um, this guy called Marty Leeds, who I've listened to quite a lot. And he's kind of like a mathematician. Um, he decodes the Bible using maths and gematria, um, amongst other things. And he's, he's really fucking smart and clever as well. So if you're interested, have a little look. But his last video was about how Christ is everywhere. Jesus is everywhere. <clears throat> um it's logos like it's it's the everything it's it's the same thing you know it's it's the creator the source energy and so this is where i find it interesting to observe the fragmentation of the all of the one into separate narratives 
especially ones that are attached with a lot of fear, guilt, sin and um, paranoia from my observations. And how I've watched people's psyche change, um, obviously we all change. I'm a shit ton different than I was this time last year and I understand things in a way different way <laughs> because of things that I've consumed and personal lessons that I've learned. So again, I, I hope I'm not being a hypocrite here by, by you know, speaking about this, but it's, it's there. So my problem is that, that this Jesus, this, this sort of personification of an essence in my feel, you know, the Christ consciousness, the epitome of moral standards, you know, and Jesus, the way, the truth and the life, you know, I, I get that and it's like, yeah, for sure, and um, but but personifying it in today's day seems to me to be the epitome of idol worship, which obviously is not a good thing. Um, and then there's part of me that goes, well, if if Jesus is the ultimate idol worship, then that's fine, you know. If that helps people, that's that's great. But to take ideas and translate them into literal, um realities or frequencies or ideologies or imagery or you know whatever it seems to me that that that's where people are kind of missing more and missing more is kind of what I feel like happens with this because I, I, I don't really see and again of course there is some and the people that I listen to are super duper nice but there's no sort of open arms you know to anything other than saying the words I love Jesus and it's like I, I, I don't personally I don't get it so like Mar Marty Leeds his video please watch it down below how, how how Jesus and Christ is everywhere, encoded in our bodies, our fingers, our toes, our vertebrae, everything about us, nature, you know. And he uses um, maths, which I can't stand, but thank God he's, you know, um, massively educated within that um, area. So uh, I can understand his explanations that he's found through maths and science of logos, of, of Christ, of Jesus being everywhere. And for me, um, I just feel like the personifying Christ is the idol worship. It's the start of the polarity and the duality, the fear and the judgment, the guilt and the sin. Um, so Jesus, Christ, order, design, logos, logos logos it's it's manifested everywhere it's it's the universe it's 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 the omnipresence of god of source of the universe and it doesn't matter how we externalize our connection to source i, I prefer to say source because i just feel like it's it's genderless so i don't like you know um all the emphasis on he, Jesus, he, him, blah, 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 and God, you know. Maybe that's, you know, a small part of my chippage around uh, certain things. Look at my fucking hair. It's completely snapped off since I've dyed it a million colours, but hey-ho. Um, so, yeah, I, I've said before, I feel like source God is 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 the everything. It's the the everything, so it's genderless, it's... it's it's neutral, it is not in duality, it is the source of all. And we get to play and interpret and embody different aspects of the all through our own individual filters. That's the blooming beauty of life, isn't it? Um, and so, just a second. So for me, yeah, it's like Jesus, I, I prefer to view as like an ascended master. Um, a spirit, a consciousness, a archetype that we can channel and embody in a way for us to live better lives, essentially. Um, and I find that there are other amazing archetypes of ascended masters that you can also embody, which help you with different aspects of your life, you know. So um, I just feel like a lot of it is sort of confusing and it seems to me that people can't really understand how a transcendent state is so personal to you you know the subjective truth of everything 
and an individual's unique perspective due to their own programming experience and destiny, blah, 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 whatever, you know. Um, so what I sort of feel as a gauge, only on what I've observed, witnessed, consumed information-wise over the last couple of years or whatever, has been that um, people have found Jesus when they needed saving. And it seems to me that, like, that is... In the sentence, it's like you needed saving, so you looked outside and you personified that idea and you used that to save yourself, to give you... And, and you know, there's part of me that's like, that's cool, you know, if it makes you feel better, that's amazing. And I do also agree that if you have a relationship with a spirit that you have personified as Jesus, a vibration that you have personified as Jesus, it's completely real, it's completely real. But along with that mindset and the word in the book comes fear, judgment, wrath. You know, there's all sorts of um, less desirable um, frequencies that sit within the sort of general Christian sort of communities. You know, there's so much talk about end times and rapture and I think this is where it because obviously it does correlate with what's written in the bible um but you know it, it could have probably correlated at any point in history up to now you know 2020 years ago or whatever when when Jesus died if that's right I don't really understand that but um you know it's 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 sort of like it's like this, this is my, you know, like I've written shit in this and a hundred other books. This is my little Bible because Jesus is within me and I find my own sort of um, connection to the divine through my mind, body, soul connection, you know. Right, basically, I'm just going to have to have a tiny little rant here. Christians, they, they, they seem to be the most judgmental, hip hypocritical sort of subsect of um, ser seekers um, that I've come across at the moment and it's all um, words, 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 Jesus is coming, you know, there's copy and paste um, things everywhere, repent, 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 find Jesus and it's like I've I found a connection with the Holy Spirit through other means than personifying Jesus as a person. Um, the, uh, and, and it can be accessed anyway, the, the source, the God, the, the everything. Um, <clears throat> so, hmm, it's kind of like, yeah, and for me, I always sort of draw correlations to it, like I said earlier, you know, the trivial pursuit with the cheese slices, the astrological natal chart, the 12 zodiac signs, the 12 disciples, you know, all of this sort of 12 archetypes, this this type of uh, thing. It's funny, actually, as I'm saying that. I got this book ages ago. I've not actually read it yet, and it's amazing. And it's by this guy, this artist, this New York underground artist called Robert Crumb. And um, I found him through listening to some of Jordan Peterson's lectures about um, the Oedipus complex. And I was super interested in it. And I watched the documentary on it, um, on the family, this <clears throat> disturbed um, family, and uh, who the guy was one of the sons of anyway. So it's the, the book, of uh, book of Genesis, sorry, illustrated by Robert Crumb. And I just saw... Yeah, look, on the back there, 12, the serpent, yeah, I mean, it's it's super fucking cool, and he's, uh, he's quite disturbed himself, you know, you can see this through his artwork, but he's definitely sort of, um, it's very interesting, he has his own little take on every chapter after he's presented it as it's written in the Bible, so, yeah good stuff but yeah no so um blah, 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 blah. what am I talking about my issues with this sort of um Jesus fanaticism so it's it's the fact that 
once you've been saved by Jesus, uh, you seem to, people, some people seem to go into this state where uh, everyone and everything is against them. Everyone and everything is dark. The world is run by Satan and his minions and it's all dark, fear-based paranoia. You know, it's, it's for me, it's, it's misunderstanding your own control over consciousness and connection to higher than yourself. Um, you know, there's so much about the Antichrist and end times, rapture dates, so many Christians um, talking about their dreams as well, you know, and applying it to all, everybody dreaming about Obama being the Antichrist or, you know, um, visions and prophecies, everybody's a fucking prophet all of a sudden and... And, you know, it just makes me laugh. It's like, I feel like they do kind of, it is, it's the missing out on the transcendent ideas through demonising, which comes in a duality mindset of religion and belief in sort of um, the traditional way of, of how religion has been programmed, you know. Uh, demonising symbology, ast uh, astrology, divination, chakras, new age... Um, energy centers, everything, you know, everything's evil. And it's like, it's all the same. It's one and the fucking same, you know? Everyone's a witch. Everybody's got Jezebel spirit. Everybody's the Antichrist. Everyone's a narcissist. Everybody's got de uh, demonic entities. And for me, it's like, I can listen to these things because I can sort of switch it and understand how their psyche is perceiving it, but switch it to how my logic and analytical mind would, would perceive the same um, things, you know. So I just find it worrying that it's like something that's supposed to give you such joy, you know, is connecting to um, Jesus or uh, the Holy Spirit causes people such fear, paranoia and suffering and guilt and sin and, you know, just lower vibrational feelings. And, you know, yeah, just the finger pointing, the um, idolising of Jesus and then the demonising of everything else. And the problem that I have, again, is that nobody seems to unpack what it means for them specifically. And this is what I'm trying to do now for myself in this video. It's like people just say Jesus is the way. Jesus is the man, Jesus is the dude, Jesus is everything, the way, the truth, the life. And it's like, so unpack that for me. How does that manifest in your reality? How is Jesus specifically as that one entity, that one person, that one spirit? How is he connected with you? How has he changed your life? Why is it just him, you know? Please try and explain it a bit more. Um, because how I feel is that it's Jesus is everywhere, Christ is everywhere, you know, so I just feel like it's the idolizing and the demonizing and they can't see the hypocrisy of what they preach and they preach and what they preach is just words without meaning, it feels to me, you know, apart from the odd few, you know, that I've come across. Um, so, yeah, it's just, you know, giving you power away, fear of everything. Uh, it's feels to me like these people follow someone else's rules and guidelines um you know the the commandments or the sins or you know etc 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 you know for me it's like humans have innate morality and goodness within them that's who we are and what we are we shouldn't need to be told what is good and what is bad and what to stay away from you know we we learn and teach these things ourselves we have it innately you know, a moral compass, moral goodness within us innately. Um, so, yeah. Do, 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 do. Let me have a little think. So, yeah, and the um, demonising of symbology as well. I'm getting sick of this shit. I'm getting sick of seeing people's fear and paranoia manifest into... Um, uh, bracketing the whole you know like symbology like um at the the all c and i triangles things like this the number 33 i saw 33 as i said that then you know it's crazy it's like for me it feels like the holy trinity the the mother the father and the holy ghost or the holy child you know whatever the holy spirit is like the father in the skies that's the idea of 
Christ and God and Jesus, isn't it? You know, that's sort of the mind to me. And then the the earth, Mother Earth, that's the the um the the body, you know, the other part of the hemisphere, you know. Sometimes I look at it that way. It's like the father will be the left side of the, the brain. The mother mother earth is the right side or the body of the brain, the more creative vortex. Um and um the Holy Ghost, the inner child, is the soul, the pineal gland. It's the merging of all three archetypes which you need to embody for yourself to be free as a soul, you know, the the archetypal mother, the father, the parents and the child, the Holy Trinity, you know, it's it's like um yeah. So it feels like it kind of feels like the Holy Trinity is like the triangle to me and, and people demonize the triangle the pyramid the the evil eye the you know it's just oh my gosh everything is so sort of corrupted you know corrupted and it's it's a shame that there's such fear and confusion especially in the ones that that think they know what's going on you know so um do -do -do -do. another little thing i just want to talk about seeing as christians like to do this a lot and i've done it a few times or whatever but it's just dreams and I've spoken about loads of times before um, I'm a lucid dreamer so I can have different levels of control over my lucidity so I'm not going like it's not like I go to bed at night and fly off to Mars to terraform it and you know have sex with some caveman it's it's very very different um, much less um, much less dramatic in many ways but I'm always aware that I'm having a dream. And so I'm always trying to communicate back to my sleeping self, which I feel like is my lower self, the bodily self, the physical self. And the spiritual self is the higher self, is, is you know, sort of um, trying to get me to let go of the reins in the, in the, in the dreamscape. So um, the dreams, astral realms, it's, again, it's everything and nothing. It's the, it's the subconscious soup of the universe, the multiverse, the infinite possibilities of consciousness with no physical form. When we're in dream state, we're not attached to the body and the programs of the body. The subconscious is just going for it. You know, it's the, it's the everything, you know, it's, 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 it's many different realms I feel like and realms that you can visit with uh, your consciousness during different practices, meditation, breathing, uh, probably yoga, I don't really do it, um, taking psychedelics, you know, many other ways. Um, but it's the soup of everything, it's the collective energies, thoughts, fears, beliefs and desires, again, um, but but it's still related to you and your essence and your lessons lessons and essence you know they sound similar as well don't they it's like it's you, your dreams are so symbolic of your own issues and that's why we've interpreted dreams isn't it is to help ourselves. it's not to apply to the all so when you listen to people talking about their dreams and you can hear their fears in it and you can sort of, you can interpret someone else's dream when you're listening to it and kind of see where their issues are. People have done it to me before when I've spoken about a dream I've had and they're like, sounds like this. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. You know, I, I kind of know that as well. But these sort of uh, Christians, they, they, I don't even know what they think their dreams are. But when, when I hear it, knowing more of their backstory you know i just see it again it's just crazy to me how they can't flip it inwardly and and see how that applies to their selves you know um antichrist appearing in their dreams or jezebel spirits or you know uh, issues around mother figures or women or men or you know whatever it's it's completely related to you and your lessons in order for you to ascend spiritually i think so i don't know i just I just find that I've just sort of I'm I'm sort of ready to be open and to talk more about this type of thing that I'm observing and I'm always ready to be proved wrong and I'm always asking for you know um a personal um a personal connection with Jesus but I don't see that Jesus is all unless I'm using Jesus as Christ as source as God you know it's um 
one of many modalities of connecting to something higher than yourself for the greater good and uh, what it continues to turn into is duality, war mentality, divide and conquer, idolising and demonising and so I just find that it's crazy. At the same time I feel like this is obviously on the horizon at the moment because of global mass spiritual awakenings and it's uh, you know a stage that you all have to ponder through um so you know it's it's i can see why it's coming up but to see that people are dealing with it in the same way that has always come before instead of trying to keep the mind open and the arms open you know for other perspectives and other ways of untangling um, timeless information and wisdom like the Bible and many other things um, are encoded with so I don't know it's just on my mind a lot you know and I, I just sort of as well as witnessing my own psyche you know from a different plane of existence I, I keep my eye on other people's psyches as well um, quietly you know from above and I learn things from others sometimes and it helps me learn more myself anyway bloody blah, blah blah right i'm off and uh i hope everybody has a lovely thursday and um yes i was gonna say jesus is the way then and you know it's a it's a really good archetype to follow so i'm not being uh, too snarky there okay bye